Sanjay here and welcome to a very special unboxing in which we are going to unbox this product right over here which is Galaxy S7 not the original Galaxy S7 but the refurbished Galaxy S7 which I ordered from Amazon dot in for 18,000 rupees if you are not following me on Twitter then you may not be knowing that I ordered Galaxy S7 for 18,000 rupees yes refurbished one obviously so on 22nd September at 8 o'clock I tweeted that just ordered refurbished Galaxy S7 Edge for just rupees 18,000 amazing deal if delivered and obviously it is delivered as you can see I have the package right over here and I said want to take risk visit here and I gave the link of this exact product few I guess uh, two people ordered the same phone and there was no COD option or cash on delivery option for this product. You only had the option of paying through debit card or credit card or any online payment for that matter. And yeah, obviously I was a little bit concerned about my order but then I tweeted, seems like it is fake cause specifications are different but I'll go ahead and take a risk for you guys maybe. What say? And then few people replied that do not take the risk because it's 18,000. Uh, it's such a huge money. Obviously, it's a huge money. But some people replied that go ahead and take the risk because uh, everyone else will come to know whether it is true or not. And as soon as I ordered this product, I emailed the seller. There is a contact seller option in every order. You can contact the seller. And I asked if this is the original Galaxy S7 Edge and should I go ahead and buy it? Uh, will I be having warranty? Then he replied, yes, it's original Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, he didn't mention S7 Edge, but he said, yes, it's original, just refurbished and you will get full money back if you do not like this phone. So basically the seller said it's original product, you can go ahead and buy it. And uh, I got another email from the seller that it is Galaxy S7, but it is refurbished by him and not Samsung. So you will not be getting any type of warranty with this device, but I do not know if the product is going to be uh, like real or fake Galaxy S7. If the product is real, then I am like any day happy to pay 18,000 rupees and not get warranty because it's Galaxy S7 Edge with amazing camera, micro SD card slot, hybrid SIM card slot or whatever that is. Uh, which is a good thing. I wanted to buy a Galaxy S7 Edge but I couldn't. And this is the product that I received. Amazon Pay, I was not able to track this order because it was shipped via DTDC courier and uh, I had to track it separately on DTDC's website. And as you can see, the package is very normal. Amazon is not written anywhere and this is the first time I'm opening the packet so it is going to be like oh my god great video if it is fake I'm going to be really oh my god disappointed because I really want a Galaxy S7 Edge but I cannot buy one and if Samsung is uh, okay seems like the box is a little bit old that means this can be a original device oh my god this is a fake one this is a fake Galaxy S7, I know for sure now, uh, without opening the device. I'll, I'll tell you once again, oh my god, I shouldn't have said this that it is a fake one. Because this is the Galaxy S7 Edge box, which you can see right now over here. And uh, it says 64 GB gold platinum Galaxy S7 Edge, 64 bit octa core processor, 4 GB RAM, blah blah blah, Cord HD display and all those things. I can notice whether the display is Quad HD or not just by looking at the display so it is going to be a little bit interesting let's open up the box and as you can see uh, the specifications mentioned over here are extremely less no IMEI number no made in something something so this means that this is a purely fake Galaxy S7 Edge but anyways let's open it up and let's see uh, what do we get inside so the unboxing experience is a little good but the box uh, by handling the box I can say that it is not the original one uh, empty oh my god then we have the fake galaxy oh this galaxy s7 edge is like uh, i guess it's it must be half kilo because i can surely feel the weight over here and uh it's fake it's fake the button she, it's bad i'm just going to start the device right now and let's see what we get inside the device so uh, so amazon make sure you remove this seller ak enterprises i'll give the direct link of the seller in the description box below too if possible if i'm able to find the seller's link and the phone is not starting at all okay that's great uh this is the pack over here now we have uh, the micro usb cable yes we have the micro usb cable charger it says galaxy s7 edge and something like that But I can say right now that this is fake for sure because it is so heavy man and uh, this is not and this is not even Quad HD this is for sure 720p display 
and currently as you can see the timing is shown on the screen and the original galaxy s7 edge has amoled display because of which the only white pixels are light up and all the other pixels will remain black whereas right now all the pixels are on and i can tell that for sure after using like hundreds of smartphones i can clearly notice the difference between amoled display and lcd display when these many pixels are on and for sure it's a fake one yeah it's a fake one for sure let's try and enable fingerprint sensor and let's see how good it is so guys now i'll show you some proofs by which you will come to know that this is completely fake galaxy s7 edge if we go into security then go into screen lock select fingerprint unlock over here and you can set a fingerprint just by tapping over here and it completes in matter of like a minute uh, not minute it completes in like few seconds so if i keep my finger over here it unlocks the device but just in case if i lose my thumb due to some reason there is no alternate password which was taken by the device which means uh, this device is fake once again and now let's take a look at the device's original specifications and if we use the cpu z application over here then it won't be able to show the original specifications rather it will use the about phone settings and build.proc file in order to show the specifications of the device but if we use the cpu x application it will show us the original specifications and as you can see cpu model is mt6580 which is clocked at 3 gigahertz and uh, if we go into gpu it is mali 400 if we go into system now it will say that os is 6.0.1 but version name is lollipop underscore mr1 this means that this is based on lollipop and not marshmallow if we go into sensors then you can see there are only these many sensors whereas the original galaxy s7 edge has tons and tons of sensors so basically it is completely proved that this s7 edge that i have over here is fake there is like i cannot explain it more and when i bought the product i decided that if the product comes out to be fake one i will make a video like showing you guys what steps you should take care of before buying any refurbished phone from amazon.in and if you're planning to get any refurbished phone from amazon.in then these are the steps which you should take care of before buying a device so first of all as you can see i bought the phone from this page which says refurbished galaxy s7 edge blah 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 onyx 32 gb whereas on the box it was mentioned at 64 gb if you look at the specifications then it says 2.3 gigahertz plus 1.6 gigahertz qualcomm snapdragon 617 processor that means it was kind of fake and the seller was this seller ak enterprises just launched so no feedback yet was written over here this means that the seller is completely new after this now let's take a look at few devices which are original and which are refurbished by the company so this is refurbished oneplus x and this is refurbished oneplus 2 so if you buy any of these devices then you will get the original device with original warranty and as you can see on this page it says limited quantity the order quantity for this product is limited to one unit per customer and not only this quality assured refurbished smartphones fulfilled by amazon value for money professionally restored and six months brand warranty whereas on this galaxy s7 edge device page nothing was mentioned like that so make sure that whenever you are buying a product these things are mentioned on the device page otherwise do not buy the refurbished phone there are multiple cool pad devices which will have the same thing written over there and for the oneplus 2 same things are written over here special offer easily accessible service centers measured across india and it will be mentioned over here that brand refurbished product with six months brand warranty best in class blah 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 all those things and let's take a look at the sellers who are selling this device so when we look at this seller which is xcotron solutions you can see that 3.8 stars over the past 12 months and 371 ratings are present that means the seller is decent and not bad at all and if we look at other seller which is uh, rockingdeals.co uh, you will see 98% positive feedback or 4.6 stars over the past 12 months and 506 ratings that means if you buy a device from these sellers you will not be scammed like AK Enterprises who scammed me or uh, who scammed us by giving me a fake Galaxy S7 Edge instead of the original Galaxy S7 Edge and the device is really really heavy. If you want to take a look at the camera then as you can see this is the camera quality of oh my god the picture is bad and if I click a picture with my Moto E3 over here I am pretty much sure that it will click a better picture than this one. So this is the Moto E3's camera and this is uh, Galaxy S7 Edge and as you can see the difference is clear Moto E3 performs better than Galaxy S7 Edge this is not going to happen for sure with the original Galaxy S7 Edge and if we uh, switch to front facing camera now and now let's compare the device with uh, Redmi Note 3's front facing camera and as you can see Redmi Note 3 
Redmi Note 3's picture looks a little bit better. Just let me just increase the brightness and uh, yeah, over here. And I guess the Redmi Note 3 is a little bit wider than the uh, Galaxy S7 Edge or should I say fake Galaxy S7 Edge. Not only this, but if I try to tap over here, it makes noise which is completely noticeable. Oh, there is a noise. And I'm pretty much sure that the phone is not going to be waterproof so I'm not even going to try and put this phone into water. So basically, I'll give the link of this Galaxy S7 Edge refurbished phone in the description box and make sure that you do not buy the Galaxy S7 Edge from that link which is mentioned in the description box. Just do not buy that product. Uh, if you want to have a look then you may have a look but do not buy it from AK Enterprises and do not buy this product in particular. So as this device is fake, I requested for a return and return started and your refund will be processed when we receive your item. So basically seller accepted the return and in reasons I wrote that this is a fake Galaxy S7 Edge. And not only this, now if I want to return this phone and if I want my money back then I will have to return it manually and I will have to follow all these steps over here in order to get my money back. Otherwise I won't be able to get my money back. And now I have to pay shipping charges to ship to this address which is Nala Supara West. Uh, anyways that's, that's not a bad point but make sure that you do not buy from this seller as I said earlier. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video, guys. And I will be posting a post on Twitter and Facebook. So make sure you have liked my Facebook page. Or if you are not following me on Twitter, then do follow me on Twitter because uh, yeah, I will be posting that, and you guys should share that post too, so that Amazon will do something and stop sellers like this who are selling duplicate phone on their website. So yeah, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, and let's see if we can reach 1,000 likes on this video because I took risk with 18,000 rupees. I do not know if the seller will allow me to replace items or not so that is going to be a little bit interesting too and if you have not subscribed to channel yet then don't forget to hit that subscribe button over here and if you want to watch more content then watch over here so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching